All right, welcome back. Now, previously we have um, learned sentence passing and uh, uh, we've gone to the lab session, right? And then we talked about things like this. Okay, we've seen a part of speech tagging and all that, right? I just want us to revise that concept one more time so that uh, we can reinforce that um, understanding, okay? Before we move on to the next major topic, all right? So um, passing implies finding structure in an input, Okay, finding structure in an input. So, um, so you have a sentence. The sentence have some kind of a structure in it. Okay, when I talk about structure, I'm talking about the fact that you can have say a noun. Okay, you can have a noun. Remember here we represent it with say double n, right? A noun followed by say something like a verb, right? Something like a verb, and uh, maybe followed by I mean something, something, and some some preposition or something like that. Okay, something like that. So. That is kind of a structure that you have, okay? That, that is what you form together to make sense, okay? For instance, we cannot have something like dog, cat, beautiful, go right, right? It doesn't really make sense, right? It doesn't really make sense. But if you have something like, say, a dog is more beautiful than a rat, okay? Although, I mean, intuitively, it doesn't make sense to compare the beauty of a dog to the beauty of a rat, right? But uh, grammatically, the sentence is correct, okay? There's some kind of a structure in it okay but this one there's no structure in there right but this there's a structure in it so that is um i mean passing of the sentence you make sure that there's a structure in it because uh if you remember when we're doing this thing let me take get rid of this over here when we're when we're in the lab session right uh, here we use regular expression and we're defining some sort of a structure right? if i go all the way down here okay here we're defining some sort of a structure Let's um, take this, right? Here we're defining some sort of a structure. We say that uh, it should start when we're talking about verb phrase, okay, defining a verb phrase. We're defining a structure there. We say that it should start with um, verb, right? Whether uh, VBP, VBN, whatever, okay? Plus some other, other, other um, part of speech over there, okay? Plus some other part of speech over there. So it's kind of a structure that we, we're defining, okay? So that is that is sentence passing, right? As you're defining um, the structure like this, you're passing the sentence. Remember, it is here, right? Passing, using regular expressions and with junking and stuff, okay? So when you're passing a sentence, it means that you're defining the structure for that particular uh, sentence, okay? So you can have something like this, right? Something like this. I am walking, right, which is, um, I am walking, which is valid, okay, and then walking is good, which is also valid, okay. Over here, we have, we have walking as a verb, right, we have walking as a verb, but here we have walking as a noun, right, but each of these sentences are valid, okay. This is a gerund form, right, a gerund, G E R U N D, okay, gerund form represents uh, verbs that end with ing that becomes a noun okay that becomes a noun right that is a gerund form so the gerund form of um the word walk okay walk is um walking okay and that is what we have used over here as a noun and that is a valid sentence okay it's a valid sentence there's a structure in it all right so you can pass sentence like this you can pass sentence like that all right